That diner makes additional money just scamming people, basically ripping off their their IDs and stuff like that. Um, uh, I hope that cheesecake was worth it. <laughs> I didn't eat it. It's in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring the cheesecake. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> yes. The the final frame of this game will be that box of cheesecake. <laughs> I promise you, that cheesecake will be important. <laughs> I am dead serious. <laughs>Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm Petra Skelton, as Alan so graciously introduced me. Uh, I've been uh, invited to come do this and I'm really excited to run Cyberpunk Red. Um, something that uh, I'd like to say for today's session, it's gonna be perhaps a, a little different than past one-shots. Uh, as this, this game will have horror elements in it, I encourage you to if at any point you're feeling uncomfortable with any of the themes we explore in this game, I encourage you to be kind to yourself, take a break, step away. You can always come back. And it's I would always prefer that you do what's better for you than risk your mental health for us playing a game around a table. And the same goes to all the players. We've, everybody has collaborated and given, given each other a group of veils and lines. And if at any point anybody is uncomfortable, they will tell me and the other players by giving this symbol, at which point we will move on to another scene. Everybody is aware, everybody knows each other, and we're, I'm just excited to play with all of you. So, going around this way, starting with, actually, you already introduced Yeah, 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 so there, there. Who are you playing? Huh? Oh, yeah, no, uh, no. Okay, fine, no, my power's gone. No, it's fine. I, I just talked. No, 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 let's start with, fine. We're starting with the land now. Go. I tried to avoid this. Um, all right, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, oh, no. Hey, what up, Chomes? Uh, it's your boy, Mono Wire. Uh, I'm a rocker boy uh, from Pacifica. You know what it is, suck by say. Uh, you know uh, how we do. I command respect in the streets, and that's why when I chose my character, t Tarot Card, I chose the card of the Emperor. Okay. Interesting. Hi, I'm Ivy. I am playing a technician. Uh, her name's Pixel. She wastes no time. She's going to be quite. Um, Interesting to see how she interacts with everybody else. Uh, and I picked the moon as my tarot card. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Trevor Gemma. I will be playing Nichols, a solo. I operate in and around Night City. You got the, you got the ends, I'm uh, available. Got the ends, he's the means. <laughs> Hi, I'm Raz. I got the ends. I am playing Xylem Stone. She's an exec, and uh, she's absolutely going to uh, need some meat. I have picked the You're pretty mean Darrow card uh, strength. Oh, I forgot to show that up. Because it's eat or be eaten. Fantastic. And going back uh, to you if you want to show yours. Darrow card's judgment because uh, if you're seeing me, chances are you're being pretty heavily judged. Okay. So, later on in the evening, when Alan is playing his game, he'll be playing in the Halcyon days of 2077. This game, however, takes place in a night city very different from that one. During the time of the Red. Post Fourth Corporate War, Night City has been repaired from a uh, corporate accident? Some people say a terrorist attack. Most people blame Arasaka. The important thing is a nuke went off in the United States in the center of Night City. It's been about 30 years since then. 35, if you're nasty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Since then, the city has been repaired. Arasaka has been chastened and things have found a new rhythm. The city and life in cyberpunk has 
found a new equilibrium. But as we're about to see, it doesn't take a lot for that equilibrium to be threatened. So we're going to start off at the meeting place for all these players. So the first person to arrive, or shall I say first people, will be Roz, Xyla Stone, and Nichols. Mm. You arrive outside of probably a greasy spoon that looks like any other greasy spoon out here in nomad country. It looks a little weirdly corporate, but it's still a greasy spoon. It's basically a truck stop. Now, Nichols, when you look up at the sign, you see bright neon, the lucky number 357 diner. Now, Xyla, you see the lucky 808 diner. You both see something a little different. I'll leave it to you as far as what you do. You've been dropped off, or I'd say you, you've driven here. So you have a you have a vehicle together. She is your employer. Okay, <laughs> I picked you up. <laughs> so, uh, what are we doing here? Did you pick this place? I mean, looks promising. Eight oh eight, lucky number. Eight eight. <laughs> oh, you're all right, right? Like it says, we have a lot to do tonight. It says three five seven. <laughs> All right. Is that... I mean, you come, you're very expensive for the concerning amount of confusion. Hey, figuring out signs and numbers, why things look different. You just tell me who to kill, when to do it. Let's go. You approach the diner, you open the door, and it's slim pickings. It's about, I'd say about midday. At this point, it's encroaching on evening, we'll say. The reason why it's called the Time of the Red is that there's an odd, since that nuke, there's an odd red patina to the sky. It hangs over everything. Even on the darkest nights, even on the most beautiful blue sky days, there's still just that little reminder that those corporations you rely on every single day almost killed you and everyone you care about over something probably petty. So you go inside and, well, find tells thin. You find a table, I'm assuming, a corner booth or something like that. We, uh, we meeting people here or they meeting us? What are we doing? I don't know, did I hire you to ask questions? <laughs> we'll want some coffee. The, uh, person working goes, I'll get to you, sweetie, I'll get to you. Just pours, pours, walks over with some coffee, puts it down. Welcome to the lucky number diner. Can I get you some menus? Sure. Fantastic. I'm not Reaches down, anything. pulls up menus, throws them down. The plastic is streaked with grease. Just holler when you know you want. And they walk away. Thanks, sweetie. Not eating. No problem. Not eating, not drinking. No. I have some. It's at this point that you show up, Monoplier. How did you get here? Um, what's the time? Encroaching on evening. Okay. So. Midday encroaching. Word. So I'm probably just waking up from the after after party of a big show. Okay. Um, a little underground gig, gig, gig because you, you know, like in between playing like the the big shows uh, as an opener, I'm still gig, 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 getting there. Like yeah. you know, like uh, playing those underground gigs helps you know keep your 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 rep high in the streets. So uh, yeah, I'm like, man, like I had a long night. I had a good night. There was some some stems involved, some 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 you know, some some extra. And uh, now I'm just I'm just hungry, and this is this is my spot. 
Exactly how much of last night's pay did you burn on the after party? I I, I dare not check. Okay. It's like it's like it's like you're playing that dangerous game. It's like it's like high fashion in 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 the in the the in the rock boy game, you know? You you don't check a price. You you just swipe. Okay. I mean so. Okay, so you're already here. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. So you hired this rocker boy. You told him where to meet up, all that. It takes you a bit cuz you're kind of overloaded by this, all of this, and the person running the place, that you realize that Monowire is sitting like a table down from you, hasn't noticed you at all, is probably eating, eating like a like a stack of pancakes. What are you? Y- do, do? Yeah, like uh, uh, probably like savory to start. Okay. You know, okay. like synth b- 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 bacon and. Oh yeah, yeah. No kibble for you. No. Okay. Um, so yeah, he's just sitting there. Hasn't noticed you. Uh, can you actually, can you roll me a, uh, uh, so do you have perception? Do I have? Should, it should be a basic skill. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, not to be confused with human perception. Yes, I do, it is a, a total of nine. Okay, roll that in intelligence for me. Okay. Did he enter after us? Four. Uh, Did he, uh, he enter after or before? Uh, he was already there. He was right here. Okay. Yeah. And sorry, just as you just need to add the, the numbers. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, 16. Oh, I should have told. My flaw was I forgot to set the DV. So we're going to say that that was a everyday roll and you got 16. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you succeeded. In future, I will state what the DV is. That was my bad. Um, so you're kind of just plowing through the last little bit, sitting there kind of look up and you realize your employer's looking at you from the table down. And are you looking at him in like an improving way or Nate, really? Sort of, okay, cool. (laughs) Fucking corpos can't even come and sit with me. I have to go to their punk asses. (laughs) You hear that. I I take up- I just don't break eye contact. I take up my plate and and I stare at you so that you shuffle over on your side of the booth to make room for him. Do you think this cheesecake is real cheesecake? <laughs> nah, man. It's not real cheesecake. God damn it. Who the hell are you? If you ain't heard, you better at somebody. Monowire. In the flesh. Like, that's what you use or that's who you are? <laughs> that's- Look how famous you are. What? Uh, uh, old, old, old head here hasn't heard of me. I'm not. I'm not hurt. All right. Nichols. What's up? It's at this point that Ivy, Pixel, you show up. The reason why this whole thing is happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she walks in. Uh, kind of glances over and is like, "Oh, this is gonna be way more of a mess than I fully intended." Fantastic. And without any ceremony, she'll just slide in beside your character, Ross. <laughs> and this is your contact. This is how you found out about the job. You who work for Biotechnica. Um, so yeah. Boys, this is Pixel. Pleasure, I'm sure. Sure. I, uh, uh, did you tell them anything at all? No. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I was expecting. Um, no, they don't do anything. Uh, she'll lean in. So essentially, I, I work as a tech and um, this, this new place that they're building. It it doesn't seem right. There's technicians technicians coming and going at all hours, but they're not techs. I know they're not. Like something is going on, and I need help figuring it out. And you both seem like you're good fits for this, I'm sure. All right, word, so like, why? That's not really necessary. It might be. Um, Is she paying you for why? 
why has saved my ass enough times I ask it anyway? Just know that I need help. Think, tell you what, think of this as a charity work. It'll look good for your records. Charity. <laughs> Command the, <laughs> the person, the person in the uh, like that's running the diner just hears you say charity and goes, yeah. <laughs> to the ugliest laugh, like just. <laughs> um, what reason would make it uh, the end of this conversation? So, um, saving some people, or sticking it to the corporals, or um, a couple of bucks. Essentially, the building plan makes. Zero sense. Oh. Okay. I'm pretty well versed in it if I do say so myself and it makes no sense at all. Where, uh, where is this place? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Gotcha. It's just outside. Um, you're already out in nomad territory. It's a little deeper in. It would be where possibly a nomad farm used to be, is no longer there. And instead it is a um, corporate suburbs that a new set that's been built outside of the city, probably with the intent that everything will extend out to it eventually. Because for those of you that have played 2077, Night City is currently in a big state of urban sprawl. It's starting to expand out a little bit. So those nomad lands, they lose more and more by this time. So this is kind of around the beginning of that. So you're paying us to let you know that some shit got Gentrified? Okay. Would your character have brought any blueprints? Ooh, she probably would have. Okay. She, she's not one to waste any time at all, so. Perfect. She'll bring what's necessary. Okay, so if you lay those out on the table, what you guys see, I'm gonna get everybody. Does anybody else have any kind of electronics or any technical skills whatsoever? Ooh, that's a good question. That is a good you question. You have every single one of them up. Yes, I do. <laughs> I have basic tech, so uh, tech every, every tech. I'm a no. I'm a local expert in Night City for seven. Nope. No. Uh, if you have education, though, yes. you can use. Oh, that. I have education. Okay, so roll me education. Yeah, I got or that Roll too. me a, a technical skill, Ivy. You do not have yeah, to roll for this. Yep. <laughs> can I Wait, roll? Oh, and down. sorry, the DV for this <laughs> is going to be fifteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. And it's just a D10 plus, yeah. Yep. You said tens explode, right? Yes, indeed. So, <laughs> fantastic. 16. 16? Okay. Sorry, what was the DP? It was uh, 15. Nice. Uh, 23. Damn. Three? Okay, so, and you got 20, 22. Okay, so you, I mean, it looks kind of hinky, but like, you don't, like, you can't, you see that something's off, you can't nail it exactly. You two can see that for some reason, the power plant that this community has is the equivalent of what a tower, a megacorp tower would have in the like downtown core. All right, so it's pulling too much power. Which part's the power? <laughs> this one right here, this one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did I your mean, character like, actually understand? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> wow. I wasn't sure if he was just like, oh yeah, I get it. He was looking at the bottom. Yeah, he said I knew something was up. Okay, good. Quite, oh, um, I'm... Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, there you okay. go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so Reading what? Reading upside down is kind of a struggle, sorry. So what, either they got some device in there that's opening up a big portal in the sky, or they got some shit underground that they ain't showing you. What's the problem? I am growing increasingly concerned as I'd rather not have, and I gesture like to one of the windows where you can see like the red sky. This get worse. Oh. Yeah. Bleeding heart environmentalist. Why didn't you say so? That's all right. Ivy, yeah. can you roll concentration for me? Yes. Concentration? Yep. Do, 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 do. So doing it um, for the pretty girls enough for you. So problem solved. I think we can get started. <laughs> No, 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 you, 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 you misunderstand. I'm doing it for the money. I mean, you, yeah. can, Eddie, you can do it for the ladies too. Like, that's fine. Oh, and the DV for this is gonna be every day. Or actually, no, we'll say simple. Okay. 13. 
13. Okay, so you made it. Sorry, continue. Oh, you no, can do it for the ladies too, or the guys, whatever. Look, uh, look. Oh, where you said more people are going in here than seems normal. Not only that, they're they're people that don't make sense. Like, if it was technicians or, the, or even like myself and more techs or teams, it, it's where? not. Where? Where? Oh, like where on the thing? Yeah. Oh, uh, she'll like point. Like, but I see them around these areas. So with your role, you remember, so what you've been doing, your character has not just been noticing this comings and goings. You decided to take it on yourself before you made this happen. Mm. And you waited in your truck outside of the community for a little bit, and you waited. And you've noticed that most people tend to leave in the late evening. Um, and again, these are the people that do not make sense. Like we're talking people in lab coats. We're talking like people that, what? why the hell would they be building a community? That's weird. That doesn't make any sense. Talking juicy secrets. Yeah. So essentially I need people like yourselves with funding and you know, the ability to hire individuals and bodies like yourselves to help me figure out what's happening before this gets worse because it makes zero sense to me. All right. Um, do you know what Kinda time there's the least amount of people around. The least amount of people? Probably during the day, because or early eve or early morning, like two, three in the morning since they're leaving, like way late at night. Okay. Fun. So is the group's intent to wait until the evening or super early morning to move in? Or are you going to go now? I suggest we wait till there's no one around. I mean, we could go now and go sure. put out and then make our way in in the, in, in the early Yeah, hours. let's find an entry point. I, okay. What's on your truck? Like, have a um, upgrade so that a couple of extra people with you won't be spotted? Hmm, that's a good question. Yeah, we'd say that uh, people could like one person could sit up front, probably you. Mm -hmm. um, the other two could probably lie in the bed. Okay. Um, and just kind of chill. Is that a tarp yeah, on there? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that the, it'll cover them. It'll be fine. <laughs> Not for you. You can surprise me. Of course. <laughs> As if I ever dare to touch you in the back. The, uh, the diner attendant comes by and goes, All right. Uh, you. Uh, I didn't bring you a menu. Sorry. What's that? Uh, <laughs> Grabs coffee. He turns around, I'll slap his ass on the way back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Coming through. Okay. Uh, Fours. Gives you a menu. All right. Uh, you got a, you got an order, sweetie? Cheesecake. Fantastic. Most. It's not very good most cheese adjacent meal you have for the next couple days. God, I miss cheesecake. You need anything else? Nah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. You gonna settle up or are you gonna wait till your friends are done? How do I feel? I'll wait. Okie dokie. I can take it to go. To go? Are we heading out then? Road meal? Fantastic. Road cheese. I'll tell, I'll, I'll, tell the, I'll tell the cook. I call him a chef, but uh, you have to I mean, cook it. See the place. Ready? Just cut. I mean, he's got to get the instant. It, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, he, he gotta, he's got to get the culture ready and everything. Don't, don't worry. When you eat sausage, do you want to watch it being made? No, just don't Probably worry more. about it. He uh, steps away. We could just go. <laughs> Are you sure you seem so enthusiastic about your cheesecake? I just miss it. A little out of the table, just to pay comes up when you mention we should just go. <laughs> um, so it's uh, so unlike 2077, most transactions and things aren't completely 100% wireless. Right? Correct. So we're paying via cards and chips and things. Yeah. Still? I'm just paying for the cheesecake to go and two coffees. <laughs> oh, I'm not good here. Hey. Nah, that's cool. 
Yeah, it clears. It's fine. <laughs> Good. It's gonna be a waiting game every time. <laughs> <laughs> and as you're as you're moving to exit after you've paid, you get a box. Ugh. Thanks. No problem. Have a great day. Make sure you got the pork. I don't need it. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's it smell? Can you roll perception for me? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just looking at you on the way out and I'll be like, next time, wait until the money arrives and then order. <laughs> Learning etiquette. 13. 13, so I forgot I to set the DV I'm again. Damn self, thank you. So you got 13? You know, it doesn't smell bad. It's like, <laughs> If cheesecake smell particularly strongly, that would be bad. Yeah. So subtle. It doesn't smell. <laughs> it, it looks like cheesecake. It jiggles a little, which is concerning, but whatever. Cheesecake don't jiggle jiggle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save it for later. Coming Back to a tech. <laughs> Coming to a t-shirt <laughs> I'll close the box and save it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be a surprise tool that'll help you later. That's that's gonna It might. It might save your day. Never Who knows? Been. Okay, so you all pile into the truck or you two pile. You two sit. Just throw a tarp. It's fine. You guys will be fine. Just don't move too around too much. Do we really like should Huddle. We be it's fine. You'll hidden? be great. Yeah, just it's fine. Like are we do we wanna be hidden or should we just sort of you Stay in the book. back and put the top over top. All right. <laughs> just cuddle. It'll be great. I'm just going to pull my sword, keep it in one hand, assault rifle in the other, and then tarp. Oh, sorry. I assumed you left those in the car. Did you have your <laughs> weapons with you in the diner? Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking wild. Swords in a hilt, assault rifles on a strap. Amazing. That's why I okay. cut, that's that's why I call him old head, man. Like he he does it old school. Okay, you're you're living the street samurai life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for those of you that have weapons, can all of you tell me if uh, they say concealed? No conceal, no conceal, no conceal. No. Very heavy pistol cannot be concealed. Yeah, so uh, our players here happen to uh, have lucked into um, weapons that can't be concealed. They're good, but uh, they can't be concealed. We'll just say for rationale here, you haven't been on a lot of road gigs. Mm. You don't care. <laughs> you want people to, well, you do care. You want people to see what you do. In that regard. Is this an old gun? Or is this something you bought when shit started getting weird? I feel like I, I bought it when it's, and I feel like I was like, yeah, I'm techie, I'll modify it. Like, okay. sure. And so it's got a little bit of my own like flair to it. Okay, cool. You've got the coolest pistol out of everyone. Uh, yours is probably the cleanest though. And you? <laughs> um, very heavy pistol cannot be concealed. It's like, it's like, I'm gonna say it's like part of the fashion. Oh, okay, cool. You've worked it in, you've worked it in. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of ammo either, so it's like, it's Turn like- Turn your thing over. Oh. <laughs> I might not have written it down, oh, but you, wait, should have, you should have 50 rounds. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Okay, cause here it said I have four, and I was like, oh, that's, that's gonna be the four shots that I fire <laughs> off on stage as a part of a specific song. Oh, no, it, it actually, like, you had 50 rounds when you were at the show <laughs> the other night, yeah. and then you woke up and you had four. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> After everyone. Oh, shit. Yeah. I That's do have a sense. question. What is agent under gear? Agent. So an agent for everybody watching and for the players, think of it like a fancy cell phone. Like it's basically the cyberpunk equivalent of it. If you're super chrome, you will happen to have, it's not internal. Nope. Unless it says ah. internal agent, which Roz's character has. Ah. Um, it's an external device. Really chrome, really fancy ones have AIs in them. Mm -hmm. And you'll have like a little secretary that can like basically find data for you. Uh, protect you from getting hacked. Oh. Uh, none of you have that though, because you are not 
quite that successful yet. Not yet. No. So, so, so the tech in 2077 of like having like the 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 chip reader in your neck and and the the. The, and the haptic feed to, to the optics that everyone has is only for like the b b b b b bougie. Right? Correct. What about the... Uh... So basically net running and all that, it's, we don't, internal cyber decks aren't really a thing yet. Okay. Um, net running doesn't work the same way that it does in 2077. Okay. Uh, there's still inter external devices. Uh, Chipsets, as an example, chip decks are a thing, but they're not like as good. So like old, super old, back in Johnny's day, those are ones that would just give you muscle memory. Those ones are pre-brain dance. So they would do stuff like, okay, I know Kung Fu, but you know these eight, these 50 moves and anybody that actually knows Kung Fu will kick the ever loving hell out of you because you fight like a robot. Mm. Um, what, would, what eventually happens is you actually start getting tech that shares memory and haptic feedback that will actually teach a person. Okay. We're in the bridging gap. Like we're in the, the bridge between those two points. Not quite as good. Neuralware is still a little, has some issues. Uh, yeah, it itches. Yeah. Um, no, it shouldn't. Nope, it really shouldn't. <laughs> so you all pile into the truck and you head out. The nomad area out here, a lot of people just trying to live outside of the corpse scope. A lot of people just trying to live. Um, some gangs operate out here. Some of these gangs are honestly just people and farms that have banded together. And they're called gangs because, I mean, the corpos make the rules. Even if Arasaka got a slap on the wrist, that doesn't mean that the corpos stopped ruling over everything. Corp cops don't usually come out this far, though. Not unless they have to. I'm not really looking at anything out there because I don't really care about people that way. Um, I'm just on my phone, checking my game auction and, um, you know, stocking my eggs. Just doing like regular phone biz. <laughs> yeah, regular phone stuff, regular phone stuff. Uh, you notice uh, you have a bunch of DMs from your guild, but you don't really have time to read them right now. Yeah, um, it's fucking me head. You guys are... Bouncing, bouncing. You get a call. Oh. On your agent. Okay. And. What kind of row is this? And you get a call. And so, do you answer? At some point, you think it's uh, do I, like, I, I tell who it is? <laughs> it's Baylor. Yeah. I'll answer Baylor. <laughs> hey. Um, Talk faster. Were we supposed to. Faster? We were supposed to meet at the diner, right? Uh, catch up to us. Okay, cool. God, I was at a show late last night. I'm sorry. I'll get moving. Uh, if you want to roll a die for me right now, I will tell you if it was your show. Yeah. If you get, if you get. Uh, d d d10. D10. Okay. And of course. Odds, odds he was, or odds he was, evens he wasn't. It was two. Okay, he was. <laughs> there we go. So. Don't be sorry. Be better. For frame of reference for everybody playing the home game, um, Netrunners still kind of have to be physically present to do a bunch of stuff. Deep dives are exceptionally dangerous at this point. Uh, the black wall, there were some black ice issues that happened post nuke. Uh, oh, there were gaps in the wall after the nuke? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, there <laughs> were some- I would fill Pixel in just so- mm, Yeah. Uh, Netrunner. Uh, Baylor, really good piece of shit. <laughs> Phenomenal. As long as he does his job and does it timely, I'm fine. Do you show a picture? Yeah, but it's like a really bad picture <laughs> that I took of him when he had like a, something stuck to his face while he was eating. It's just like from the side of my desk toward his. <laughs> okay, yeah. The it's... most unflattering. And this kid looks like... Uh like the cyberpunk equivalent of a grunge goth that doesn't care. Phenomenal. Yeah. Also weirdly young. Do you normally hire young teenagers? It's whoever gets the job done. Does he get the job done? Always. Okay. I'm trusting you on this one. You're the one paying them. Well, we might, you know, 
murder him, but it's fine. I'm gonna just send them your way and, and let them refer to you and let you yell at them. So the GM sure. is going to make a quick roll for Baylor. <laughs> I'm gonna find out how they... Okay, <laughs> I have figured out how they are going to get to where you are going. Oh. Fantastic. They sprint, they just run. <laughs> Uh, so, Butter balloon. <laughs> as you guys approach the community, things start to get a little weird. And I mean, you know, desert, 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 hills. Oh, there's a shanty farm. There's a farm. Oh, they're actually doing pretty good. Oh, that one's burned down. That one's burned down. What the fuck? So, you've seen corpo communities before. They're basically gated communities on steroids. Like, we're talking, these are the people that left Night City to live that leave it to beaver lifestyle. They, their parents lived and died in those corpo jobs to get them the nice lives. These people have a security force that are just like mall cops because they got good walls, they got good protection. These are the people that are reaping all of the benefits of the cyberpunk lifestyle. Hmm. If there's a, like these are the sort of people who if there was like a disease that was really bad, would be like, no, oh, yeah, while well, they're talking over bowling or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of getting a new body. Like these people don't have a concept of the life you live. <laughs> it's weird though, because every time you've seen one, it's already been made. And these things always feel like they just like sprout out of nowhere. They're built very, very fast. You probably built a couple. Yeah. It's weird seeing one that's like half built. It it feels like you've walked in on someone undressing. Like it's you're like, ooh, ooh, like I shouldn't. Okay, so you. <laughs> no, that was a weird description. Are we under a tarp? You like you I can probably on top peek. Of you. Like very yeah. un un. Oh, you can okay. probably be peeking. You can All do whatever right. you want. Yeah. Um, I have on headphones. I'm just saying. You vibing. <laughs> As you pull up though, this means that some of the walls aren't done yet. So you're able to pull to a position, likely the position you waited in a couple nights. And you see people working, you see the flash of, of uh, welding and all those other things. But as you wait in your vehicle, you can see the workers leave pile into their trucks, very much like this one, and leave. There's like an hour that passes where you don't see anyone. And for a moment you think, okay, that's it. But then there are more people, but there was really no sound coming out of there. Like suddenly there are just more people. And then there are- Is it coming from out of buildings? No, coming from like deeper within. Like you can't see all the way in, but you can see like they're coming from in there. At this point though, it's so, it's darkened. It's about like, I'd say about like 1 a.m. at this point. You've chilled out in that car for a while. You two have really gotten to know each other. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you two maybe haven't at all. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> if we uh, stopped and pulled over by there, engine cut, all that kind of stuff. I probably jumped out of the back and like pulled out a cigar and was just watching. Okay, cool. And all your music has just been like back to back. It's just the tits, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey man, you, you haven't had the, one of those saves or what? Oh. Yeah. Pixel has not yet noticed. It's like slid the truck window open to lean back and they're like, uh oh, they're, oh, they're not in the trunk. Um, so it's about 1 a.m. at this point, it's starting to get dark. Like it's, it, sorry, it's already dark. That red patna, as we discussed, is still in the air. Now is about the time where you could probably make a move inside. What's the air quality like here? It's different than Night City. So I won't say better, <laughs> because too many things have happened in the Ameri in, in America and the Pacific Northwest at this point for the air to be good but it's different. The smells aren't the same. You don't smell, say, the clean smells of the corporate sector, uh, those perfumed scents that you find, but you also don't smell human urine. You also don't smell 
You smell more ozone. Okay. Ozone, you smell a little bit of desert air, and for like just a whisper, just barely there, you can smell a little bit of rain. You can't remember the last time you smelled rain. It's, it rains a lot in Night City, but typically it's, you know, it's, it's not the most pleasant. It's kind of acrid. Here, you can smell it. You can smell it coming. Nothing that we pick up that would be dangerous. I don't nope. notice any change to basic bio. Nope. You guys make your move. I definitely to turn this cigar uh, 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 into a blunt. So I go, uh, <laughs> hey man, you want some of that? I'm good. <laughs> cool. Can you? you? No, I'm good. Thank you. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you roll? Uh, let's say, how often or how strong is this? It's like, okay. How extra are your <laughs> players, Petra? <laughs> it's, uh, all right, so I'm from Pacifica. Okay, yeah, 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 right. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to roll a DV10 resist torture drugs roll. Okay. Do you have that skill? <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope you do. If not, you're running the nude, uh, you're gonna run a nude body. You're just gonna run body. Which okay, where you would be bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I have cigars that are laced with some sort of like stimulant? Uh, if you did, that's a whole other ball game. Oh. You can, but you don't. Okay. I can, but you don't. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, there, there's an expansive set of rules in Cyberpunk Red for dr for drugs. Yeah. Several of which are amazingly terrible and great because. Uh, Black. Hey, what up? Yeah. So. Because Coke died, synth Coke is a thing. Oh, I'm not thinking that heavily. No, 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 I, I know, but I'm saying what I'm saying is, is that a bunch of the drugs that have been made in Cyberpunk at this point, very few are mild. Ah. Uh, yes. So if you were on a stimulant, you would be like. Ah. Uh, yeah, you would be feeling it. And yeah, I didn't stand anybody with that, and I'm very sorry. You do have the send out stand though, so. No, sick. Um, uh, with my body of three, I needed to roll a seven or higher. I rolled a three. Yeah, you <laughs> did. So you are not fully zooted, but like halfway there. Just, I'm not. I'm not hitting it again. I'm. I'm in my zone. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, so at this point, if you have to roll reflexes uh, or dex, I'm gonna give you a penalty. Okay. Of uh, I'll say minus one. Cool. Okay. So the rest of you, do you all move in? Like I'm assuming everybody yep. gets out and starts We're moving together. in. Boss yeah. gets out. Yeah. <laughs> Going. <laughs> Are you just carrying it? It's not even in the holster. When the sword's back in the sheet. Okay, cool. Yeah. You said you had people in mind for this. This is kind of what I expected. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna encounter trouble, right? Uh, probably. You're right, you're right. You wanna bring an argument to a gunfight? <laughs> no, I'll bring a gun to an argument. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> so, you all move into what is labeled at top? Home. H O M E. Do That's... we all see the same thing? For those of you, because I we didn't uh, didn't come up in in game, the reason why the diner's number changed is it's based on an algorithm. It was literally reading their info and just uh, that diner makes additional money just scamming people, basically ripping off their their IDs and stuff like that. Um, you're all good. Pardon don't me. worry about it. Uh, but I hope that cheesecake was worth it. <laughs> I didn't even eat it. It's in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't move in. You didn't bring the cheesecake. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The fi the final frame of this game will be that box of cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that cheesecake will be important. 
I am dead serious. <laughs> the fact that they didn't bring it is going to have consequences. No. <laughs> Would you not. made your choice. You made your choice. Yeah. yeah. Pixel would not think to bring it. She'd be like, why would we need that? I forgot it. Completely. <laughs> well, I, go. I hope mid combat he remembers, like, oh, the cheesecake. The cheesecake. <laughs> you get a situation like you're facing down some baddie and they're just like, I'm going to kill you. Unless you got some cheesecake. <laughs> like, Damn it, it's in the car. I make a deal. It's, uh, I actually rolled to see if I would eat it while I'm in trouble. <laughs> no? Yeah. Okay. It's just cool. there. <laughs> So, you move in and yeah, leave it to Bieber. About sums it up. You see lawns that are half built, by which I mean like the turf is mostly rolled up. You see rolls of turf that are like set up to be rolled out. You see homes being built. These homes as they usually are in these suburbs. Did I see anyone working on the home as well? We were yes. Yeah, you so saw they them. were actually making progress. Yeah, okay. yeah. People were actually building. But did it seem suspiciously slow? Yeah. Um, you see, like, most homes in communities like this are like a throwback at least a couple decades. The argument being that most corpo employees want to imagine they live in a different era. So they try and replicate that a little bit with all the comforts of the modern day. <laughs> So, as you move in, and this place is old hat to you because you're here every single day, Ivy. Um, but for everyone else, it's kind of off-putting. Has anybody else been in a, like, I imagine your character has been in a community like this. Yeah. Um, but the rest of you, do you think you've been in one yet? If I was hired to do something in one, possibly. Very unlikely, but possible. Like, go after somebody, maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mono wire. Tell you what. <laughs> I have not. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, have I? I was uh, th no, no. thinking of bars. Uh, what's that? <laughs> have you ever been in a community like this? Oh, hell no. Okay, okay. I'm from Pacifica. <laughs> it's going to turn out he's like literally from the most dated community. <laughs> <laughs> and your real name's Clarence. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Uh, and Clarence still had both his parents. <laughs> uh, I I messed up, by the way. We have uh, Chris Murdoch as our oh, DJ, DJ, Mr. Murdoch. He is, he's going to be a huge part of why this game is great. Uh, yeah, I am so sorry. <laughs> that was my. We got bad. you, man. Yeah, uh, I'm, g I'm g g g gonna say he's like Monowire's DJ. <laughs> What would, your, what would your cyberpunk name be, Murdoch? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Think about that and get back to me. We'll okay. Right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to build up all this tension and suddenly just this name's going to get yelled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Go, 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 go. So you guys continue to move in. And most of these places are built around a convex. There's a center, a town center. But here, and this is the moment where you realize, you get confirmation what Corpo owns this place. You see an Oasis shop. Ugh. Oasis shops are owned by Continental. <laughs> yes, indeed. And they sell everything a growing community needs, from kibble to clothes to basically anything you want. But they're your one-stop shop and your only shop. It isn't half built. It's not a quarter built. It is done. Like, this is the only thing you've seen that's just fully done. It's fully oh. built. It's all good. Is the door open? No, it's closed. Lights are down. Next to it, there is a fountain. A big fountain. Water features, which are kind of ostentatious in cyberpunk. Uh, in this era especially, like, okay. Uh, but who knows, maybe it just recycles water or something. Where do you guys want to wait? Do you, like, do you want to wait to see where people come out of? What's your intent? Muzak, <laughs> this music, by the way, diegetic. It's coming out of the speakers above the Oasis show. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, oh, perfect. Oh, Is there water in this fountain? Right? Yes. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm just gonna sit down on the edge of the fountain. Um, I have a really tight little mini skirt on. And I'm just gonna hike the mini skirt up and pull my panties down. I'm just gonna pee in that fountain a little bit um, before we get going. Um, and then I will like straighten up and pull my skirt back down and clip clop with my little power wedges back to the group. <laughs> um, all right, and a safe space for surveillance. Uh, from what I've scoped out, I, I think this area over here Kind of like around the corner from the oasis, like a little pocket between supplies would probably be the best with with a view of the door. Okay. Can everybody roll me stealth? Yep. How to I, get situated. How I, okay. If you don't have stealth. These power wedges are really loud. <laughs> you're gonna just roll nude nude uh, decks for me. Er, no, I have a yeah. Or actually, you can use intelligence for this. That's fine too. If you're real brainy smart. Mm. Yeah, and the DV, before anybody tells me their role. Sorry, you said is, stealth or? Sorry? Stealth or. Stealth or, uh, stealth or raw intelligence or. We'll say dex. If we have a stealth, do we have to use it? You don't have to. Oh, because it's not as good? So. Okay, cool. Um. um it's okay. Ooh. No, you don't have to. You don't have to Maybe a typo, because it says stealth seven, level two, and then it's a two. Is that actually a nine? Yes. Okay. Got it. Um, stealth it is, then. So it's going to be an everyday difficulty and a secret difficulty as well. There's two thresholds here. I will not tell you the second one. Okay. My total is 13. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, eight. I rolled a one. 16. Okay. <laughs> So you guys get set up <laughs> and you're hunkered down for maybe, we'll say 30 minutes. And you're watching, where are you watching by the way? Like where are your eyes locked? I'm watching the door. Like, to see like the, the Oasis video. shop? Yeah, uh, oh, I'm watching the door of the Oasis. I'm looking around for any other doors of like where people may come out of or even in the floor, seeing if there's any panels that lift anything. Okay. Well, where is this compared to the Oasis? You're just like around the corner. Yeah, we're okay, the corner. then I'm looking down. If there's a street this way, street that way, I alternate. Okay, Ross. Wherever I have, uh, Zyla is looking wherever uh, Pixel sort of indicated those primary egress, ingress. We'll just trade off like watching. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Mamano Wire is uh, following behind. Uh, 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 except he's d d doing the very Alan thing of um, walking and beatboxing to like the theme song that he has in his own head, and he thinks he's being quiet, but he's not. There's no way he could be. Okay, um, can anybody who wants to help? Mono wire in this instance. As as Roll a perception noise. to make sure you notice it. Fourteen. Fourteen. And you got eight for your roll. Yes. Okay. Cool. Nineteen. Cool. You both notice this immediately. Yeah. You're able to help him. Twelve. So. <laughs> As you guys are doing this, you hear a and it sounds like something shifting. You actually feel it under your feet. Uh, I I am curious and concerned, but I instinctively hit a switch on a uh, uh, on an audio recorder. That I have. Perfect. So there's no way I'm not sampling this. Is this, oh, is this a feeling I recognize? Oh, no. Okay, so this is like brand new. Yeah, no. Okay. But then again, you haven't been inside right, right. when people left. What are we standing on? You're standing like inside a build, half yeah, a building, like, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, but like, oh, so, okay. Yeah, it's just the ground that's vibrating. You look out and you see a little bit of light comes out just past the Oasis shop and you see the fountain open. And then 
couple people come out. You see a couple scientists come out and then you see a couple what looks like security. And then someone who, okay, actually I'm gonna get perception from everybody. Okay. Yes, this is, this is a big one. This is gonna be, we'll say DV 13 for this one. I got a 12. 12? 20. 20? 15. I remember 10s explode, so. Yeah. I have exploded a 10, so uh, 10 plus 10 plus nine. Ooh. 29 and 20, and Ivy, you got? 15. 15, okay. So Ivy, you notice that amongst these security guards, one of them is considerably bigger. Mm. And initially your thought is, oh, is, or is one of them borked? <laughs> but that doesn't look, that, like, that's where your brain goes, but you can't really see any evidence of that. You know this guy isn't borked. You look at him and you have the same thought. You're like, holy, that guy's bored to hell. He realized, no, he's just big. That's a big dude. And <laughs> it's a big dude. there are scars, like really bad scars. Like we're talking war veteran, uh, like maybe this guy was in Night City, bad. Mm. You, <laughs> what you recognize is the way this guy holds himself, you've seen Corpo solos. You've seen people who have done this as career. No, it couldn't. This guy walks like he is. So you know how when people walk, they have small like little things? Like even if, even the most like, I'm a soldier, they have ways of like, they still have tells. This person walks, walks so deliberately so specifically, it's like he's cutting through the air when he moves. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's Jason Bourne. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, perfect, perfect. <laughs> but yeah. And as they're leaving, that guy he stops for a moment. He looks around. And as he is looking, it's like Shit. his eyes focus and unfocus, but he's not like shifting his eyes. He moves his head to look like a hawk does. And just for a moment, he looks the direction of you guys. Just don't breathe. And then he raises his wrist up to his ear, looks away and goes, says something. I'm gonna get, need perception from everybody again. We gotta go. This is gotta gonna go. be difficulty of, I'll say 15 for this one. DV 15. 14. 14? 11. <laughs> 18. Okay. 10. So, as everybody else is panicking, you're like, Shit. you hear, yeah, I got nothing out here. No, we're clear. Wait, wait. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move on. And he kind of lowers his wrist, takes another look around, and then keeps walking. He either didn't see us, or he wants us to think. It's a really good thing that I pissed in the fountain because otherwise I'd ruined these stockings. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> at least we know where they go now, or where they're coming from at least. You hear the the rumble return to your. Can How much time it? between That's that them enough. walking away and I'm close? It's like I'd say about a little less than a minute. So it's closed by the time you get there, basically. Mm. Can I open it? Uh, I mean, you have someone they can. I'm a tech. <laughs> oh. Okay. So this is a good time to mention that every single role in Cyberpunk Red has a specific signature ability that's tied to their role. 
Uh, techs have an opportunity to specialize in a multiple different arenas. The one that Pixel is focused on is... Cybertech, basic tech. No, no, uh, next to your roll ability. Oh, my roll ability. It's up top, just under your stats. Do, 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 Ah, yes. Expert, field expertise four. So mark maker four. Okay, so maker is the tax ability to specialize. Field expertise is the ability to jury rig and make it work. Hmm. Because Pixel's so focused in that area, it means really good things. It means a flat bonus of four to doing anything like jury rigging when it comes to any kind of tech. How many scientists walk by? Ooh, that's a good question. So it was like a half a dozen. Like enough that if we needed lab coats? Mm. Potentially, but that would also mean you'd need to tangle with those security guards that were sticking oh. to them like peanut butter and jelly. I don't have metaphors. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, I think if we wanted to get to blend in, we should uh, carjack somebody. Ooh. Yeah. Well, when they're leaving. Like Garbadium. Leave. So you're gonna move towards the. No, no, we're gonna do the fountain. Okay. I I'm gonna go to the fountain and start looking at the mechanisms. I mean, I like, can, can you roll? I like to carjack and I. D d d d d d d but even remember, if you did, add both the the tech thing and bring... four. Like, you, I think there's a. I mean, yeah, it's thing. 18. I'm okay. either a guy with. And an it's gonna be a DD sword of 50. Or I'm a guy in a lab coat with an assault. 24. Sword. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> so as you guys are talking. I don't look like I belong here either. <laughs> as that's as you guys are talking, Pixel like walks up and just like I'm imagining you use your tool hand for this. Yeah, she's just like, well, okay. <laughs> gets in there and like immediately finds the seam, finds a place to fit into, finds the maintenance panel, crack, 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 and then just I got it. It opens. Oh shit. Oh, you're you're like a tech tech. Yeah. Hi. As opposed to a solo tech. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's your first through the door. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. okay. I'm coming. So, as you look down, you see a vast set of stairs. The air is. You're expecting it to be musty and oppressive, because that's typically how spaces d underground are. Mm. The air down here is fresher than you've probably ever tasted. Mm. Hmm. For you, there's only like one other area that's really smelt like this, which would be a, like a biotechnic building because they work. Oh, they work in medicine and other such <laughs> things and biofuels. So, yeah, that's interesting. Nice. So, does everyone descend down? Yep. Right. So you begin to descend down the stairwell. As you reach the bottom, you find a massive elevator. Has everybody here seen Akira? Yeah. <laughs> you know the elevator in Akira when they're going down? Yeah, think that. Massive. Metal gear. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're getting the vibe. You're getting the vibe. Okay. okay. So this thing is gunmetal gray, the walls are concrete, there is visible, you're seeing now, this is where all the fucking energy was going. Like you can see the like uh, electrical wiring and everything leading downwards. I am yeah. visibly annoyed because I've been trying to fix this problem. Like she's like, oh my God, I see it. <laughs> As you approach, you yeah. notice that there's a control panel to activate it. And it has a key card reader. All right, so I think I know how this works, right? I think we gotta take the key card and hit it once, and then we gotta go somewhere hot, and then come back fast and then hit it again, right? And then go somewhere cold, and then come back fast and then hit it again. You got that key card? Were you smoking? Yeah, but like that, that's that's not. Can can your hands? I can try. Okay, so this is gonna be electronics. Okay. <laughs> what is my electronics? I have it. Do I have any cell reception down here or phone it's, access? Like It's really spotty at this point. It hasn't fully cut out yet. I thought we're still waiting on your little assistant. Like, 
to someone. Failure. Yeah. Uh, well. I don't think I have electronics. Oh, uh, sorry. You have... I've probably given you the wrong... What tech skills do you have? I have basic tech and cyber tech. And... Yep. Okay, roll basic tech for me then. Oh, I have... Oh, I do have electronics. Oh, okay. okay. No worries. Got it. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. New character sheets. Yeah, no, no. We're all learning at this point. Yeah, it's first time playing. Yes, this is everybody's first time playing Cyberpunk Red, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, your first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, 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 we, we played uh, the, 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 the OG. Yeah. Cyberpunk 2020. It was a small <laughs> little interlude. Cyberpunk 2020 is one of probably one of my first systems I ever fell in love with when oh. it came to tabletop RPGs. And uh, Alan and I got to know each other a lot better when I ran a, like a what turned into almost a two year long campaign <laughs> because of COVID. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, this sheet. Yes. Has a bunch of, uh, for my combat awareness, things that I can spend points on. Yes, so you have four points because your roll ability has four. Oh, it's my combat awareness. Yes. Okay. You can spend that in combat to activate individual things. Think of it kind of like a monk in D&D. Okay, my key points. Which yes. is why I was not allowed to play it. <laughs> yes, no, specifically. I wonder why. Uh, I wasn't going to anyway. I found out after I picked that I wasn't allowed to play Okay. Alan played a solo in my previous game. Uh, he was very scary. Uh, <laughs> You on, that, on that roll, 22. 22, okay. So, you crack that open, and that's well over that DV of uh, difficult, so well done. You crack it open, and oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, if they're gonna do that, they're just gonna, I mean, you can basically just end. Yeah, I don't know who did this, but they did a terrible job. Like, oh my God. Basic, like, apprentice electrician. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I got a question. Yeah. So we know how deep we're going here. What? How deep are we going here? <laughs> He's not dead. That was good. That was... What I are don't we know. looking for? Like, at what point do we pull up? Yeah, like, that's a good question. And you see Baylor is just kind of, like, halfway down the stairs. It's like, just kind of standing there. What's up? Do I know him? You showed no, me a picture. Obviously not. I'll just There's, kind of wave over my shoulder, and be like, "Hey." And it's I keep kind of kind of twinky teen, dressed like an like an urban urban goth grunge kind of, and they they're carrying a cyber deck. Nichols. Uh, Yo. Baylor. Oh, careful when you're pointing when I'm pointing. Yo. That's that was such a good show. That was such a good show. Yeah, yeah. thanks, man. Thanks. So good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> what? Volume. Oh, your volume. I mean, we're down. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, we going down? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We know what we're looking for. It doesn't matter. There's something down here. That's right. where we're at at the moment. So Something is draining all of the power, and we're going to go look and see what it is. Right. But I I like his question. When we find out what it is. It's a good question. Is, You're right. When we find out what it is, we'll deal with whatever's around and then we'll go from there. When we say we're ready to leave. Yeah, we'll like leave like, like freestyling. Like, like, we're, like we're going to freestyle what we're doing. Okay, you don't need to talk down. I'm not talking down to you. I think that you're very talented. I was just trying to relate it to something that you'd understand. Okay. All right. <laughs> A good tech. Man, I thought I was going to be a problem for you. That would people. <laughs> but a good tech. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I pull out my agent and I open up an app that. Uh, and I go, oh, okay. And I feed my cats. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, how many cats does Nichols own? Five. Five. What are their names? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, uh -oh. tell us when we come back from break. Okay, got it. There we go. Um, thank so, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I, I had to give you that break. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I still expect that name. <laughs> oh, I have it. Oh, okay, cool, oh, cool, cool, cool. 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 Uh, do you want to say it now? No, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> so you activate the elevator. Yes. Everybody stands atop it. <laughs> and then you start descending. I give my life. <laughs> As it starts descending, it's concrete, cable, concrete, cable, 
concrete cable glass. And you just see this vast, too clean tunnel that's just been hewn into the earth. And as you're traveling down it, you see the first logo you see is Continental Brands. You see those lines of red. But as you proceed a little deeper, you see the green of Biotechnica. Oh, son of a bitch, yes. <clears throat> down further and further and further. And then finally, you see the facility. And it's, there's a building down there. You can see the actual complex that clearly is connected via hallways, all that, to the elevator going down. But beyond it, and taking up the majority of your view, you'd almost think it was a farm. They look like crops, neat little lines. But as you get closer, I'm gonna get everybody to roll perception. Ooh. 18. 15. 11. 13. So this one had to be secret <laughs> for a reason. So 15, sorry, 15? Um, 15. 13. 18. 11. You. You hear what sound like screams. And that's where we're gonna call a oh, oh, quick oh. little break. So we'll be back in approximately 10 minutes. Awesome, um, awesome. Yeah, and so when we return, we'll get to see what they get to, have gotten themselves into, find out that that elevator does not go up super easy. And, uh, we'll have some fun. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in for the uh, for the stream. Thank you everybody for playing. We'll be back in ten. Hello everybody and welcome back to Cyberpunk Red. Um, hope you enjoyed the break. We did. Got some water. Definitely spilled some water again. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody say anything. But before we do anything, uh, I need to throw it back to Murdoch because he has a name, his cyberpunk name, so let's hear it. Well, uh, you can call me by my cyberpunk DJ name of Flexadecibel. Oh, Flexadecibel! Yeah! Flexadecibel! <laughs> All corpos are bastards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <Wait. laughs> like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I like this song, but now I don't. You just pissed in a fountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and? Okay. It's different when we do it, though, you know? Yeah, it's dirtier. <laughs> <laughs> I need to wait for Trevor to open the Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so. Back to it. <laughs> Always flirt with your players. It keeps them on their toes. <laughs> um, don't do that. It could make people uncomfortable. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? don't. I'm going to yeah. remember this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> boundaries. Um, Put that actually six. puts us that puts us in a great place. So this is this game, and especially this half of the game, is going to incorporate horror elements. If at any point you feel uncomfortable or it starts to have an effect on your mental health, I, I encourage you to take a step away, take a break. If you feel like you can come back later, that's fine, that's great, but please prioritize your mental health. Some of the things we're gonna be dealing with in this chunk will get a little intense, and I don't wanna trap anybody. Everybody else here is aware of these same rules and knows that if they get too uncomfortable at any point, they only have to let me know with this, and we will immediately move on, no questions asked. This is a safe place. We've all set these rules. Nobody's in danger. With that said, you're all in horrible danger. <laughs> oh, no. You know who's not? Reginald P. Furman, Mr. Princess, Griselda Fancy Pants, Griselda and Meow Lin, and Jeff. 
Yeah! I'm here for Jeff. I can see Jeff. Jeff is like the dumbest tabby. Oh, oh right? yeah. Griselda fancy. <laughs> no brain cells. That's a Okay. Walked up in the spot. Who's lying on the kitty bed? <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. This is they, they have their own show, right? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's 24 hour streams. <laughs> we're gonna run a uh, we're gonna run a cyberpunk red game where you just all play as cats. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. do that. Like a stray, basically. Yeah, yeah. stray. Yeah. Oh, now I really want to run. That. Yeah, that's, <laughs> very, that's a very good okay. deal. You have dibs on a Griselda. Oh, for uh -huh. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Okay. Um, so. Sorry, serious. No, it's all good. Levity is important and an important part of horror. So, <laughs> and we're back. Our players are in this elevator, moving through a tunnel of glass. You can see vast fields out there. Pixel at the edge of their hearing could hear what sounds like screaming. And then plastic takes over for the glass. It's plastic, 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 and then you're standing outside of what looks like a lobby. The walls and ground are tiled in that plastic kind of tile, almost reflective, red accents. It looks like a hospital almost. There's nobody at the front desk. Are there any cameras? There are cameras. Baylor goes, <laughs> office, should probably go there. Like, yeah, cool. Um, supply closet, supply closet. Don't know what that is. He points to another door that leads somewhere else. Office, and that's probably like the main entrance. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, 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 wait, just so we're all aware, I did hear screams. So just be mindful of that. Okay, that's all. You can go now. Can you uh, quiet the cameras? Yeah, that's what I'm about to do, Dad. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, oh, oh. And just, <laughs> he walks off. Well, I didn't know you were a father. Lucky if he lives this long. Oh. <laughs> I keep saying that, and yet, all the time, he's okay. <laughs> Every time. You see, after a short period of time, the cameras, all the little red lights in them, out. And if any of you look through the glass of the office, you see him set up and just kind of like glassy eyed, clearly doing something. Although you know what? His main piece of shit tank. <coughs> what? What? Sorry. Does anybody want to examine any of the other rooms or you just want to move on? You said there was a door that was Yes. Kind of, I'm gonna go examine that door. It has a keypad. Fantastic. I would like to try to pry off the door and dust the wires. Fantastic. <laughs> so that's gonna be an electronics roll. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll go post up near uh, uh, Pixel and just keep an eye. Okay. 21. 21, yeah, no. <laughs> like, this was gonna be simple, so yeah. you're good. Like I said, apprentice electricians. This, so you've seen Pixel skills on display at this point. This is like, should have been hired to maybe do this part. Like, damn. Um, crack it open. And the door, you don't even, you don't reach for the door because the door doesn't have a handle. And just <laughs> opens. And inside the room, I let you, you take see, point. Like, I let you immediately in front. You see arrays of clean suits. Think like hazmat suits, but they're sealed. And there are cases. Now, if anybody wants, to, any, can you roll perception for me? Because you're looking in it, in there right now. Just punch my boob. Ooh. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. This is gonna be. This is every day. A ten and a one. <laughs> well, still ten and a one. So eleven plus. Uh, eleven, eleven. So okay, 22. twenty-two. So yeah, you rocked this. So you're looking at it, and you're like, those cases are big enough to hold my guns. Ooh. Anybody want an upgrade? Hell yeah. <laughs> so do you all step in, suit up, case up, and everything? I'm thinking if they have these suits, we should wear them. Probably. Smart. 
Does everybody case their guns? Yeah. Yeah? Including you? Uh, sorry, like it fits inside of it, but it's still functional? No, not still functional. Oh, like we can- Yes. Oh. Like they're basically like, oh, opaque plastic cases to like carry equipment in. Think like, um, you know, you have a background in film. Like these cases around us. <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, sorry, were there, were there guns inside them that like- No, there's no nothing in them. Oh, they're, they're clearly right. for people bringing stuff in or bringing stuff out. If they're bringing them in, it's probably a good idea to put stuff in them. I mean, unless you're more comfortable with carrying it. You do have your sword, too. I mean, like, the yo, like, blending in well, they've got, wouldn't hurt either. But they've also got security, they're right? Bad. Following everyone. Yeah. As long as you can look like the security we saw I'm, above. That's true. That's also possible. Ah. You know. All right. Okay, cool. So you keep everything else but your assault rifles? Yeah. Okay. Heavy pistol on the side. Okay. Sword gonna, and sheath. I'm going to Sorry. case my gun, but leave my grenade on my hip. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but, okay. But I am suiting up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So everybody puts that on. Jeez. There's this moment when you're putting on the clean suit, zipping it up. It feels disquietingly like hiding under the covers. Mm. It feels like for a second, you're surprised you can see everything around you because it feels like you're hiding. Mm. It fades, but it's an unfamiliar feeling. Any change to my vitals? No, you're fine. Mm. Those of you with the skin watch can check your vitals using your agent. Mm -hmm. um, you can do it in your head. Huh. It's pretty convenient. Do I have a skin watch? I have a biomonitor, same. Oh yeah, sorry, not a skin watch. Skin watch is a watch. Biomonitor, that's what I meant. Thank you, oh. cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with that done, do you proceed on? I think so. Um, if I'm supposed to look like a bodyguard, I think I should actually hang back. Probably. Yeah. The okay. same formation that we watched above. Okay, so. You move, Baylor kind of like nods at you and the door, main door opens, continues working. You step out and there's a vast hallway, similar to the tunnel that the elevator was traveling down, but this one isn't sealed. Once the, so the door closes and you're like, oh, okay. And I'm gonna get everybody to roll perception for a second. 14, so the goal is to get over 13. 13. Um, 14. 18. Okay, cool, everybody notices this, nobody embarrasses themselves. So you're stepping forward and you're like, oh, another hall, and you stop right before, because you realize this is a clear box you've stepped into, oh. and door seals behind you and it goes, yeah. Lights are flashing. And then, opens. Hey man, I don't like this. I, mm -hmm. Not like, like all of it, it feels too easy. All of this information is extremely valuable. Every little bit of it down here. I don't think you heard me. I said it's too easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're trapped underground. I just want to remind people if we have to be wearing these suits, we get into a combat situation, one little tear, not good. That would be unfortunate, yeah. But the real question is, is it to protect you or what's out in here? That's a good question. Mm. Fuck about protecting what's in here. <laughs> so you proceed onwards and you see that this is a hallway, mm -hmm. but it's, there's a roof and there's a walkway, but you can leave. You can step out into the fields that you can finally see. Mm. So the description of a farm seems about accurate. Vast rows of these things lined up. Mm. They look like 3D printers. But their sounds aren't quite as clean. Are the printers biotechnical? 
you don't see any markings on them, but the sounds aren't as clean. Instead, it's more of a and you notice that instead of working with filament, they're printing organs. As you look at different lanes, you see they're not just printing organs. As soon as an organ is printed, someone kind of steps over, will like, either there'll be an assembly line set up or someone specifically for more, some of the more fragile items will physically take them and move them to another machine where it then lattices the next layer on top. As you continue walking, you notice that this these are fully building bodies. Hi. Do you have the answers you want, or can we go, or what? Yeah. And as you're walking... I mean, I have some answers I want. That doesn't mean I know what they're doing with it. I mean, if you're uncomfortable, like, we can leave. You hear... Hey, I'm just asking. Oh, uh, uh, doctor? Doctor? And someone from the field is calling at you guys. Oh. <clears throat> and they, they step up and look at one, two, three, four. Don't you do it. <laughs> so if you'd rolled over a certain amount when looking at those clean suits, you would have noticed that they were color coded. <laughs> Oops. Two. Walk up to you and go, Doctor, uh, I need your help over here. Oh, the, certainly. I'm coming. Okay, excellent. Mm. <laughs> you, you know, you're you're wearing the fucking security. You're all the same. You know that, right? Like, come on, man. That's clearly a technician's clean suit. His his got ripped. It was it was a mess. Like he's very clumsy. It's, That's don't worry. Big enough. Don't worry. We, we we've already gone to human resources about it. It's it's being dealt with. It's fine. It's fine. I thought we were dealing with problems with Suriyama. Dealing with this is, it's fine. It's fine. Can you come with me? Okay. Is this your team? Yes, this is my team. Okay, cool. They can come with us. Oh. And I, I'm going to need your help with this. I, I uh, changed the hue of my skin slightly. <laughs> <laughs> to what? Um, I want to go from uh, uh, dark skin problems to light skin problems. <laughs> what I'll say. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hem skin. I do a double take. You're yeah. like, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I look less. Uh, I I'm gonna say uh, like just like I, I like. I look like the the weekend, but after he got famous. Okay. Yeah. 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 So uh, you continue on and the, this, whoever this is, you notice that their color is the same as yours. Oh, great. Cool. <laughs> you are wearing technician's colors. You are wearing technician's colors. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed on and goes, the person goes, okay, so we're having some problems with this array and you're staring at, do you know what a blood eagle is? Yes. <laughs> like the Viking? Viking? Yes. No. Blood eagle? Oh my god. So, oh my god. human body where the rib cage has been like that out the back. And clearly, the machine is having problems with something because the whole thing is paused. And this figure, this doctor, walks up and is leaning over this like it's a burger at a burger joint. They don't look bothered at all. I'm gonna get everybody else though to roll some roll some dice. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we will say just body, just body. Unless you have resist torture drugs, in which case you can roll that as well. As well? Well, sorry, you can roll that or instead. That. Okay. Instead of just a nude body roll. Nude body roll. This is weird. I think I know what you're Stand asking up. us to roll right now. Uh, and I'm gonna make a case. Can I roll streetwise? Yes, abso absolutely. So this is another thing that I institute in every single game I run. Doesn't matter the system. If you have a justification for rolling something different, 
I will hear you out. And if I if it makes sense to me, you can do it. Yeah. Can Pixel roll first aid instead? Yes, absolutely. Because absolutely. If you have first familiar. aid, you can roll that too. Okay. Um, okay. The difficulty, it's going to be 15 difficult. 16. 16? 20. Ooh. 18. The same shit. 18. Fail. Eight. Seven. I think that's... Ooh. So okay. everybody else, Ooh. I don't things leave I've seen. the <laughs> office as much, you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's my chance. So, <laughs> would you like to get sick here in front of everyone, or are you going to step away for a second? I will step away. Fantastic. So you step away for a second, and we'll get to you in a moment. So all of you are looking over this and you can feel your gorge rising. You can feel that just, uh, that is a person. And maybe for you, you go, I mean, I've seen people in rougher shape. I've done this to someone. Yeah, for you, holy, <laughs> God damn, okay. For you, maybe you have the thought of, <laughs> yeah. For you, maybe you have the thought of like, you've I seen- I collect skulls. Yeah, there you go. And I'm from Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be his excuse for everything. It works. Pacifica still Pacifica. <laughs> so you managed to hold on to it, and you're looking at it, and you see that he goes, so still having problems with the spine, as you can see, like, and he's like fully reaching in and like pull it. He pulls. There's like a. Mm. Yeah. See, like the discs are fusing. Oh. That is a problem. Yeah. Um, can you, you you guys were walking down, are, are you heading to somewhere like one of the fields I, I, or are you, are you heading to control room? Um, oh, I was just doing a general sweep, but if you need something, like I'm happy to help. Yeah, if you can go to control and just tell them to maybe take a look at the ossification filters, just yeah. so we can nip this in the bud. I don't want to have to deal with a whole batch like this. I, I totally understand that. I mean, definitely put this on the setback, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it might be a tech issue. I mean, it's possible. You're a technician. You want to take a look? <laughs> I'm just... I feel like that's the actual look of just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, we'll take that spine, but we will let them know that it could be a tech issue as well. Oh, see, so okay, yeah. Here, give. Uh, well, here, I'll bag it up first. I'm not going to expect you to just hold on to a human spine. That would be nuts. Just <laughs> the bag. Uh, as they're turning around and begging the spine, what does the face of this body look like? So, that's the thing you've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you've noticed that of all the bodies, the more complete ones that you've seen, none of them look the same. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to be my question. All right. This one looks like they could have grown up in Pacifica. They're a young girl. Hair? Like, like hair is hasn't hair? grown yet. Right. No. Hmm. But couldn't be older than like 24. Hmm. You notice, uh, so actually, can you roll, what would you like to roll? in order to examine the body a bit closer. Would you like to roll first aid? Would you like to roll human perception? Would work here, I guess. <laughs> uh, typically that's a reading emotion, so. Yeah. Um, um, my, my first aid and my human perception are the same and they're not too shabby, so. Okay, well roll first aid for me then. All right, work. Um, 18. Okay, sorry, I keep forgetting to do this. So difficulty of 13. Cool. So the weirdest thing, she has scars. Mm. Like this isn't a fresh, clean, perfect body. This is a club. someone that's lived. That's weird. Hey, yo, this, <clears throat> this person exists. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? Like, the, like, the, they got scars and shit. <laughs> Like, why would you 3D print a body with flaws, like scars? It's a double. Or blending in. So the person goes, well, I mean, you remember, like, the the 1.0s were, they just didn't work. Like, we can't have them look too clean, right? Right. Right. Obviously. Like, the, um, 
Field 4, I think, figured this out, like figuring out the texture pack we needed to work with in order to make this work. It, I mean, it's it's just about growing the skin in a specific way. It's fine. That's weird, but you know. I mean, it's work, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we're going to cut away from you guys for a second. You. Xyla Stone stumbles away. You are going to be sick. Do you take your mask off? How much, uh, how tight is the neck part? Uh, so basically these reseal. So you could just easy and then seal back on. You guys figured this out when you're taking oh, them on and off. You mean how loose? Yeah, I like to pull like, out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, could you vomit down the front? Yeah. yeah. So you could. I am warning you, though. It is like clear white, so they will be. It will be a visible, like dark streak down the front. Is any? Does, have I seen anyone else not full masked or suited? Uh, not out here. No. Are any of the bodies we've seen breathing or functioning? No. <sighs> what are you going to do? I'm gonna get you to roll one more <laughs> resist torture drugs. This is going to be a uh, oh. difficulty of 17, professional. Uh, 21. Okay. I will, I still, I probably go to crack it. I would have cracked, I would have started okay, the so. like, process of cracking my suit open because I, I can't be sick on my outfit. Right. Um, so you just kind of make a vomit hole? Yeah, so I'm trying to make a vomit hole. Okay. <laughs> I have vomited out the side of cars I have very graciously vomited in expensive bathrooms. Um, I am an expert at the uh, puke and rally, but like, but like a sexy puke and rally, like a classy. You know, you don't get a, you don't get anything on your face or your outfit or your shoes. Nope. It is a skill. That is a legit skill. I, so. I saw that happen once. <laughs> like at, at a stoplight, it was just. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, say a word. <laughs> I'm done. We don't live in Night City. We just live in Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, same thing. Okay. So, <laughs> you managed to crack it open. You do get a bleh out. You're okay. Oh. Seal that back up. Mm. And you lift your head and you're like, oh. And you see that you've where you've kind of stumbled off to because i'm assuming you weren't paying the most attention to where you were walking you aren't so the field continues but where you are there's like a <laughs> have you ever been to a, like a water treatment facility I have. you know where they have the uh yeah the big yeah okay so think like that but set into the ground you're standing near one and kind of look and you see that in looking at everything the way it's laid out, this is the material they're printing the bodies uh, out of. <laughs> oh, they're gonna start printing you. Oh, the faint, yo, you didn't vomit into it. I will say that. Oh. Um, the faint scent in there is like, <laughs> uh, that just gets in and you're like, again, it starts oh. rising for a second. I got the sweats again, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get you. You know the so, pre-vomit sweats? Yeah. yeah. Do you have evade? I have evasion, yes. Can you roll that for me? Difficulty 15. 14. So, <laughs> you manage to... You start with that before I roll, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you manage to notice that you're falling. Oh. You don't manage to stop yourself. And you, and you, you kind of slip, and your hand just goes into it, and it it just so it looks like you're like an unfinished mannequin because you're just covered in like pink slime. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and you're just. And luckily, you find that this material is hydrophobic, because so you're just like, and it just comes oh. off. It's fine. I covered people. I'm covered people. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm just, just a little bit of a little bit of people. It's okay. Um, as you come back to the group, I'm assuming. I have the spine. Yeah. <laughs> you come back to the group, and one of the docs like 
I'm gonna roll for him to do the perception. <laughs> You're all like, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes, I can see, I, right? I keep telling them they need to have like walls, guard guardrails or something, right? What? It's ridiculous. Uh, safety first. <laughs> The, the sluice pods? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if, if they don't put them up soon, they're gonna start printing us. <laughs> you didn't see what, uh, you didn't see what um, Daryl did the, like last weekend. He like set it to print um, the, uh, the field boss of like field four. Mm. And so <laughs> the guy came in back to his machine and he just finds himself like <laughs> just hanging down. Great, so funny. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, absolutely. They, they like everybody knows it was him. His boss still doesn't know though. Oh, that's so, so cool. choice. Perfect. Oh, I'm gonna take this down. Uh, yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, could, uh, yeah, tell control that uh, they suck. Yep, uh, in those exact words. I'll be sure to tell them that you sent them. <sighs> And you just hear as you're leaving, fucking hate doctors. <laughs> so. I'll just wait. <laughs> Keep walking. Wait for the spider. <laughs> yeah, this, like, this my suit's just tracked with like kibble breath smell now. Like, <laughs> it's really intense. Mm. Just horrible. I'll just go uh. like, okay. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be just fine. Did we see brains being printed? Mm. I'd like to have looked to see if I saw them. Can you roll perception for me, please? Look for brains? If anybody would like to look for specific body parts being printed, you can roll for me <laughs> if you are not quite that morbid. 13. You don't have to. Um, that would that would have been every day, so that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, are they, do they all look different or they all look the same? I mean, do you have, Medicine knowledge? At first aid. You can roll first aid. That's going to be a like have, professional difficulty. Um, genitals? Yep. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, Eleven. You you can't <laughs> tell one brain from the other. Uh, we're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> they must be. I was also going to ask about the genitals thing, but instead of actually like taking a look around, I I just go. <laughs> Maturity. Maturity. So you proceed onwards to control, I'm assuming, at yeah. this point. As you proceed. What about security, though? Like, as we're walking, do we notice how many people might also be security? You see the occasional person bearing a rifle similar to Nichols, who made a smart choice. Um, and they kind of, most of them, like, you barely cross paths with them. Um, it is funny you ask though, because as you're walking, one of them with a couple scientists does kind of like look at you and like stops for a second as the scientists keep going. He goes, I know. You for, it, no, I, I get it, I get it. It's fucking suits, man. I hate them. You're so dumb. Yeah, it's not helping anything. It's fine. Yeah. All right, see it, just moves on. So <laughs> that was very much watching two video game NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great time. Like sitting and watch for a second. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> keep walking. Yeah. Let's play a game. <laughs> Screen cap. Yeah. <laughs> um, I need to remember to not make terrible faces during the stream. So the last time I did that, Sam. <laughs> I still have it just in case. <laughs> first. Cool. No, but for, 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 for the culture, you know? Of course, of course. So as you're proceeding onwards, I say that a lot, you <laughs> make it to the area just before control. This is the larger structure you saw. <laughs> made of the same vast, like, clear, yeah. <laughs> the same sterile white as everything else. Features of glass, little red details. There are scientists who are, who are leaving there. Some are just kind of like talking. Does anybody want to overhear what they're talking about? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. Roll perception. This is going to be a, we'll say a difficult roll. I have a cyber audio suite. Oh, it's not going to be, you, don't even roll. You're good. Same. <laughs> Four. You have cyber audio. What? 14. Okay, cool. So you see, you, uh, oh yeah, you don't get it. So the people with cyber audio get it, you don't. Neither of you do. But what you hear is, yeah, is the, um, are we having, is it still stable? I mean, yeah, as stable as it can be. I, I don't know, like getting this, making viral RNA work like this is kind of like taking a hatchet to DNA. Hey, they don't have to be perfect. I know, it's, just, it's weird, right? It's not weird if you've read the briefings and they just keep talking. Proceed past them? Or do yeah. you, does one of you engage them in conversation? We both like tax, I don't think this will fly. To control. Okay. Uh, noting what they've said, uh, I will relay it when we're far enough away to Pixel. So uh, also Baylor like sends a little message to you and your agent saying, um, hope it's cool, I'm just running a, rec I'm running, like I'm recording off of you for this. Uh, I'm just gonna piggyback off you guys for a little bit. Um, can't go very far though. Um, Search and document, can I send a message back? Yep. Search and document the uh, DNA, RNA conversation we heard. Cool. So as you're, for any of the, those of you that doubted Baylor's skill, let's do a check. <laughs> let's do it. Yes. Cool. So as you're about to reach control, like as the door is opening and everything, you get a little audio clip from Baylor going, these are going to market. Clarify. All the organs are going to market. They're, they're going to different markets, but they're like, these are going to different biotactica places, like going to hospitals, um, you know, bougie replacement parts. Am I hearing this also? No. No. And you guys move into control. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of people working at computers. Someone sees you with a smile and goes, are they still yes. still? I know. Okay. I, I don't know. Here you go. The spines are fusing together. He knows that discs just do that, I right? I know, but I still take a look. It'll make him feel better. Okay, this is this is this is what we get. That's fine. <sighs> okay. Um, and hey, um, and kind of like looks at it for a second. And can everybody roll me perception for a second? And I'm gonna roll something for that. Hey, boom. Ah, boom. Ooh. Hey. Damn. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. So, boom. <laughs> Did anybody get higher than 36? I d no, sadly. No. 31. But Ooh. yeah, because it's only one boom, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got excited. Okay. 28 though. Fuck Wait. Them. Yeah, 31. Yeah. Okay. So what happens is <laughs> you notice that they kind of like you, because you got close. What you notice is that they kind of like shift a little while they're looking at it, but then they're like, all right, you, you, and you come with me. And like the other technicians that are working right now go, but I'm like, yeah, I look. And the other guys go, oh, come on. And they stand up and they leave leaving you alone in control for the time being. I don't know what that flex was and I'm, that's gonna that's gonna haunt me that I don't know what that flex was. I'm trying to send a message back to Baylor. I wanna know, um, are they tagged? Barcodes printed? How are they identified? So you send that out. Look you up don't, and to the left. You don't get a response. Mm -hmm. um, 
computer access. Yeah. No one around. Yeah. So do you do you want to roll basic tech for me for basic this one? Because you're just yeah. you're basically just identifying which computers open that you can use. Twenty six. Cool. So that's easy enough to notice that someone has left their key card out. So you're just like idiots. Yeah. <laughs> um, Computer opens, oh my literally opens now. Um, and you see files and documents. Highest of the food chain. Names you can get. Mm. All of them. Before that, Tell me as you're going through, you notice that there is a tag, a little file that says briefing. Ooh. Do you want to click that before you look for the higher ups? Read the yeah. briefing. So, do I have anything like to with me that I can download information at all, or no? Okay. But one of you, some, some of you, some of you oh, have audio record. suites that can record, correct? Uh, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. probably have a recorder as well. Yeah. Okay, so, Rocker Boy to the rescue. Cool. So I'm assuming you probably click that on for this. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, hey, can you record this? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, thanks. Click. And you see someone, you don't know who they are. You don't recognize their face. They're just another scientist. They're not in a clean suit. They're dressed, they're dressed in nice clothing, but wearing them shabbily. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like you don't scientists, quite right. Yeah. 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 All right. (laughs) And they go, okay, so I know we're getting a lot of questions at this point, um, and I promise you guys some more answers. So plain and simple, here's how it's going to work. We're bringing these to market, uh, and I'm aware that you've all identified flaws, problems, all that. That's not important. Regular overmarket organs, the ones that Biotechnica has asked us to build, that this whole installation is for, they all have flaws. Biotechnica knows that. They, they mess up on the line all the time. People die from complications. Usually they're not the rich ones because they don't get their stuff checked. That doesn't matter. The important thing is, is we're trying to disseminate these organs as far as possible. The brass won't really tell me much else past that point. But the general idea is dissemination. We need these to market, and we need them to as many as many places as possible. We've got them as, as far as Pacifica. We've got them in the Shatter. We've got them all over at this point. We've even managed to get some all the way to Japan. So we're, we're doing good at this point. Um, the main thing is pay attention to the viral RNA. Make sure that's still in there. We need. It looks like junk to you, I know, but it's important. Check that. If it makes it to market without that, and I find out who who messed up, you're out of here. And I'm, I'm just gonna leave you to Suriyama. I'm not going to put you through the corporate chain or anything like that. Suriyama will deal with you. Okay, cool. Um, further info coming up, I guess and they hit something and it turns off. Hmm. What the f- We're gonna find that guy later. Yeah. Immediately click over to the hierarchy or whoever I can find. I'll even open email and look at like signatures of who's the highest, like who has sent out entire company-wide emails. Okay, so you're seeing a multitude of names. You yeah. can like record them in agents and yeah. stuff like that. Look they don't- For Suriyama. Okay, so you begin to notice Search. <laughs> when you search for Suriyama, you notice that their uh, their name is usually tagged in security emails. Fantastic. Oh. You thinking of uh, I'm thinking? I'm thinking. Cool. Cool. What? You know that big guy that we saw earlier? Big guy. Oh. Yeah. Is there like a history check we can do on Suriyama? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Some kind of thing like that. How long have you been a solo for Night City? How old are you? Um, I'm thinking I'm like 43, and I've been doing this uh, probably a good 15 to 20 years. Yeah, 15, yeah. Did you pay much attention to solo history? 
Like, did you do you care to know any of the stuff of the guys that came before stuff like that? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get you to roll history then. Okay. Is that something education? I have? Education. Sweet. Education. Or streetwise, but yeah. That's a one. So eight. So yeah. okay. <laughs> Name doesn't really ring a bell. Hmm. Never heard of him. There's like that faint tickle in your ear that's like an itch, but oh, you can't place it. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a, <laughs> through yeah. your helmet. Biotechnica, and I just want to whatever information I need to give you that would indicate somebody at Biotechnica that is slightly higher than me. Oh, cool! So like a middle manager above you. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool. who is still in this would uh, have some connection here. Ooh. And so I just looking for that. Give you enough info so I can yeah. get a name so that I can use that against that person later. Cool. Yeah, I'll start going through documents looking for even like, oh yes, this is everyone's extension. Like even an extension list of who you go to afterwards. Yep, you find it. You find a direct connection to your office. Ooh. <laughs> so are we good? Can we get the hell out of here? Can you roll perception for me? Oh. Everyone else is paying attention to other things. Yeah, does this I'm, have to do with I'm this? focused on what I'm doing. Does this have to do with threat detection? It does indeed. Mm-hmm. Haven't had situational awareness? <laughs> so each point adds plus one to any perception checks made? Yeah, so how many points do you want to spend? So I got to spend them, but I get them back after combat. Yeah, you'll get it after this scene. After I'm still scene. reaching out to Baylor and still nothing from him? Nothing. I'll spend two. Concerning. Is anyone else stressed out? This is uh-huh. difficulty of <laughs> this is difficulty of uh-huh. nine. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that's a waste of two points. Um, uh, Nineteen. So it was not a waste because oh. there were other levels to this. Oh. oh. So at first, the simple thing to notice is it's weird that no one's come back. Yeah. And then you kind of like stand up and look out in the fields, and you don't see anybody. Um, we gotta go. I, I'm Say literally less. in the middle of doing this. Uh, we gotta go. What do you mean Say we gotta less. go? And step out the door. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, no, you're in the control room. Yep. The door is, so, oh, you no. know the room we're in right now? Mm. You'd be like in that office, door's over there. So you start realizing, and over the PA, you hear. Uh-oh. You know, every uh, every now and then, I uh, I like running drills. I do. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> Fox hunts are more fun, though. Now, you want to do this straight, or you want to do this with me chasing you? I've got your fucking net runner right here. Oh, God damn it! I hate that. Well, luck runs out for everyone. Uh... I am assuming this is your net runner. We all know him. <laughs> Hey, Corpo, you make that c- 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 call, word? Yep. If you want to talk, we talk. Let's talk. Okay. We'll come comms, to you. Comms turn off. Oh. <laughs> and you hear... Oh, oh damn it. And... Fucking Ed... T- 209. You look outside <laughs> and you're expecting, oh, something is approaching. No. Your installation, the building that you're in right now, control, that hallway starts shortening by segments. And the field is moving around like it's on tiles. And you're just literally getting pulled back towards the entrance. What kind of fun house bullshit is this? It's an unfun house. That's what it is. And eventually, <laughs> door opens. You're gonna have to do the talking. I have zero people skills. I do. You also. I have zero people. Uh, that's not people skills. That's yeah, that's it bringing is. Uh, a gun to an argument. 
I mean, it's not yet an argument. Everyone shut up. Okay. So, door opens. Does anybody get in the line of, like, looking out the door? I'm just going to walk into the... out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Outstanding. <laughs> so, walk you in. walk out, and it's a big guy, and he's not holding Baylor. Baylor's clearly in the office, has someone basically the gun to them, all that. The guy looks unimpressed, but you seeing him up close now, you see what Nickel saw, but a little more intensely. So it's not scarring. There are chunks missing off of this guy's body. Missing an arm, missing, a ch missing an eye and a chunk here. And it's not replaced with no. cyberware. <clears throat> no. It's just not there. Just not there. He goes. Suriyama? Yeah. So, you uh, came into my shop. I'm assuming this is some kind of corpo job. You're here to get information, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We work for. Myself. Always. Corpo answer. Love it. Okay. Biotechnical. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, we can't have you getting out of here. So. Why not? Hmm? Why not? Well, Biotechnica knew what we were doing. That would be a whole problem, wouldn't it? it? Starts unwrapping something. Some fabric. Look, I'm assuming. It doesn't have to get messy. Oh, no. I, I know. I don't intend on it being messy. You're all probably cybered up, yeah? Little chrome. Can I deactivate my chrome? <laughs> Cybertech, do you have it? Uh, I don't. Cool. Shoot so, the device in his hand. Okay, so oh my we're, God. we're gonna roll initiative for this. <laughs> so Pixel just looks stressed. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> okay, so uh Okay, so I have a plus three Yes, because you have the send if stand, right? Yeah. I'm assuming you activate it. Hell yeah! Cool. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby! <laughs> I, if I can briefly make eye contact with Baylor, I hope that what my cold heartless eyes portrayed to him <laughs> is just like a smidgen of like did kind of like, like a okay. bit of a spark, like a hint of a sparkle. Like, so you mission? will notice that Baylor is bleeding out of one eye and their nose, oh. clearly showing the telltale signs of they ran into a program. Ooh. Or very likely they were forced to jack out while they were still dealing with black ice and oh. all of it stacked on them at once. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, bye bye. Um, so. Initiative is going to be reflexes plus 1d10. So roll me 1d10, everybody. 16. Nice. 15. 15. 15. Okay. 11. Okay. 15 as well. Okay, so. Strip the gun. He's ready for it. <laughs> An important thing about combat in the system. Combat rounds in here represent three seconds. Okay. This is important. It will come up later. <laughs> but it's important to know because it's a little patch of time. Trevor. Yes. You are tied with this individual. Okay. What is your reflex style? My reflexes? <laughs> Blue. No, yellow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Eight. Eight? Yeah. Cool. Oh, but you activated your send him stand. You know what? So we'll give it three. to you. We'll oh. give it to you. Yeah, yeah. so get me, baby. Yeah. You want to shoot what's in his hand. I right? want to shoot. He unwrapped it yep. and said something that made me think he's going to offline us. So, <laughs> yeah, I want to I want to shoot that device. Okay. Either destroying it or out of hand. So that is a called shot. So that is a minus eight to roll. 
Fuck. So you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna roll. Um, can I can I follow that with uh, I also wait. It's minus eight, but does the send Debbie give him plus three? No, it's just for initiative. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I have a precision attack. You have been trained to precisely aim attacks. How much does that cost? Energy? Oh, three points, and I just spent two. Correct. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. All right. Baiting your players is very fun. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I felt it. I just committed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's great. And then, uh, do I have the option to full auto? You, not if you're doing a call shot. Not if I'm doing it. So I can't just like try to hit that with my first, and then if I miss, I just <laughs> hold the trigger. And... No. Okay. So it's a single bullet then. Yep. And what am I using? Um, so this is going to be. Uh, I think this is. Do you have a thing called auto? I have auto fire. Yeah, so that would be it. Oh. Unless there's a firearm skill. I think there's just handgun though, right? That's just my handgun and I'm using yeah. my rifle. Yeah, so it'll be automatic. Okay. Yeah, so roll that. And minus eight. Correct. Damn, that's a 10 then. Okay. So here's what happens. Ooh. Okay. You take the you take the shot, and what you're expecting is for him to like realize you're about to do this or just stand there or something. He rolls into the shot. Okay. Shot hits him. And so I'm gonna get you roll damage. Okay. But it doesn't hit where you're trying to hit. That's fair. Uh 5d6. Yes indeed. Oh, yeah. Uh, nine. 18. This one's hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did I say? 18? Yeah. Yes. So, 24. 24. Okay. Yeah. So, you rend a hole in that arm. Sick. That's just one good arm, too. Ha! It's, ugh, not anymore. Does it bleed? Yeah. Ooh, good. <laughs> good. And then on his turn, he's going to go like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, he's not going to roll to hit you. Ugh. You're going to roll me a DV15 roll. With? Or actually, one second, let me triple check, make sure I'm doing this correctly. With evasion? This is, nope, not for this. Damn. You need, oh no, sir, I, I do still have to try and hit you. One sec. <laughs> so can you roll? Um, evasion. Yeah, reflexes plus evasion. Oh, if you're it. Oh, I'm fine. Reflex, uh, reflexes. Oh, if your reflexes is, is nine. Is your reflexes nine? Eight. <laughs> so unfortunately. How does luck work? Can I make it a nine? So luck is an expendable resource. Perfect. You can spend it on rolls to help you. Can I add take one luck and add that to my reflex to make it nine so I can add it to my no, evasion? Stand, yeah, stand. I Technically in the system, no, but I think this is cool. <laughs> so you're gonna get to roll reflexes plus evasion. Yeah. Sweet. No! Oh, yeah. I rolled a one! Oh. However, yes, no. uh, that is still a... It's a roller coaster. Uh, yeah, 22. Is. Wait, a, 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 yeah, 22. <laughs> I'm very sorry to say what is about to happen is bad. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so you're gonna roll me a DV15 cyber tech check. Do you have cyber tech? Fail. Roll intelligence. <laughs> intelligence? Fail. <laughs> intelligence? Straight intelligence. Not great. Come on, boom, baby. That did not work. <laughs> so here's what happens. That's an eight. This gun rolls out, and you're expecting like it to turn out to be a laser weapon and something horrifying. It goes like that, and the air ripples. And then you, what happens is um, you have a spinal implant. All right. And for a second, you realize you can't feel your body. And to all of you, Nichols crumples. Just ragdoll, just bleh, falls. You're still, he's still awake. His eyes still open. You are still visit. you're still fully aware. Remember that thing that your character feels about their implants itching? Yeah. 
Whenever you'd wake up with that, you'd be reminded of the fact that you chose to have this piece of tech put inside you, this piece that isn't you. Mm. In this moment, when you are lying there, just a pile of meat, there's a moment where you realize this could just be you. And we're gonna move to the next person in initiative. So that will be Roz. Roz and Ivy, technically. You can go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him. Fantastic. Uh, does it take extra time? Because uh, we have uh, put our guns in. <gasps> oh, yeah. yes it does, in fact. It's gonna oh. take you a turn to get that gun out. So sorry. <laughs> I know, I saw that. <laughs> okay, so you two this turn. Yeah. Are you gonna take cover yes. as well? 100%. Yeah. Okay, so I'm- There's like a desk in here, right? Like a like a front desk? Yeah, he has, so yeah, they, I said they pulled him out. So yeah, there is, you could duck in there. Okay, we duck behind the desk. Yeah. Okay, duck behind a desk, to in there and start yep. reaping open the, the thing. Yep. Um, it, he doesn't have any even plants at all that I can see. No. Okay. Interesting. Now we're going your to. Your grenade's still on your belt. Yes. Yes, it is. Indeed. Okay. It's it's a flash bay. Alan. What's up? Your turn. Okay. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. I am going to. Yeah, I'm gonna sh shoot. I'm gonna open fi fire on him. Open fire? Yeah. Okay. So, by the way, your cyberware is going to be inoperable for a minute. Oh. So, 20 turns? Correct. Oh my God. All right. Unless someone here has cyber tech. I got you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, so. Uh, all right, so that'll be taking a look here. Reflex plus. Skill for guns, so da, 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 uh, hand, handgun, right? So oh, it'd be a total of t 12 here. Yes, indeed. All right. <laughs> What'd you get? I got 13. <laughs> uh, can I You're still it? close range? Y yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still close range. Ooh, this is bad for him. Cool, roll damage. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five, D6. What is R with? Rate, Rate of, of fire. fire. Rate of Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> getting a little hot and bothered here. It's getting exciting. 21? 21? Savage. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So. We are going to, he's just dead. No, I'm joking. He's not dead. <laughs> that would be funny, but no. But no. Um, so that, so I need to roll a d6 to find out where you shot him. Okay. <laughs> Body. So. They're just I mean, like, when you get that cock shot, yeah, go for that cock shot. Get him in the thing. It's like center mass at least. <laughs> so you. Or triple feature lines. <laughs> and you crack this shot through, and it's a through. Like, you see the wall behind him just. And he actually takes a step. And you're still on the ground. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So it's gonna be his turn. And he says, oh, God damn it. I'm gonna get him to roll. Because uh, what is uh, everybody may see next to their HP, there are other derived stats. What is the death save? What's the other one in between death save and your health? Seriously wounded. Seriously wounded. Seriously wounded. Yeah. So when you cross into that threshold, other stuff happens. Oh, right. 
right. Um, so, one moment. I didn't take any damage though, right? Yet. Okay. So. Jinx yourself. What's the problem with you? <laughs> <laughs> so many things. There's so many things. Yeah. <laughs> so, bleeding out, like Basie's bleeding, holding his side. Corpo. Suriyama. I've dropped your, uh, I've dropped your, I've dropped your solo. The other guy. I'm assuming he still has a beat on me. Always. So we're just gonna leave then. Oh. It's been nice. I think that um, this has been a uh, fruitful encounter <laughs> and uh, we'll probably meet again. So uh, the group of us are just going to take our things and go. And I would really like my net runner back, please. <sighs> yeah. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> Takes a, a hypo out. All right, stand down. The other men who haven't entered initiative, haven't tried to fight at all, over their guns. <clears throat> Shove Baylor in front of you, and they kind of like rotate. We'll pull him, you. pull him back with us under the. Okay. We're in cover behind the counter. We'll yeah. Him up. Um, so do you guys? So yeah, do you grab? I'm. I'm gonna let him take point of just in case and cover me and I'm gonna uh, kind of slink over to you. We could pull him back. So as you're doing that, Suryama grabs Nichols and kind of like moves him closer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> in and basically Rude. tells his men to go into the control room. Fix him. So it's going to be cyber attack. Yep. Ooh. You want to join our crew? No. Are you sure? I don't work with Borgs. We've got cheesecake. <laughs> no. <laughs> he thought about it. I know he did. Uh, 26. Okay, so you are. You slowly feel, feel it, like feeling comes back into your limbs. <laughs> Oh, so funky. And you feel bruises everywhere because because your spine shut down and you kind of went, Bleh. you you bruised the hell out of yourself. Back of your head hurts. You're okay though. You good, you good. I'll just give him a little pat like this is, yes. You know, so good with peopling. You know what they're doing here, it's going to be useful, right? Uh, Absolutely useful to me, yes. Get out of here. <laughs> Homeboy talking like we're paid to care. <laughs> You're pretty public for someone to talk like that. Oh, he likes your music. Fan. Maybe he wants to autograph. Funny. Watch as you go. And as you go onto the elevator, activate it. I'm gonna get everybody to roll perception for me. Ooh, I also want to. I want to see if I can still hear the screen, like while I'm talking. Oh, uh, okay. Could I have rolled to record him say that <laughs> line? That's a great way to fucking open it up. Absolutely. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I send it to to my d d d d DJ <laughs> as soon as I'm up. Hell yeah. Okay. 15. 15, so this would be a DV 15, so. 22. Sorry, four. 19. Perception. perception. Oh, perception. Perception. Sorry. Is okay. what's Baylor's status? Like he's Baylor conscious is and unconscious. So we're dragging him. Yeah. Correct. Can, can I do anything to help Baylor at all? I okay. guess I'm carrying him then. Even though. I'm well, you could just, try I'll, first aid, but this might be a brain injury. Yeah. So which could be better, better to just leave it. And now that you're walking, I'm just like pass you. Yeah. My carry this. <laughs> okay. So what'd you get? Uh, I got a 10. Okay, so you don't get this. You're listening for something specific. You're listening for the screams. 
You hear them and they're closer. Mm -hmm. oh, you got 22 and you got 15. 15. You're looking down the elevator. You can see Suriyama watch you go. As you do that, and he's like this, bleeding and all that. As he watches you go and he thinks you're out of sight, he just... and just stands up straight and walks. <laughs> the elevator makes it to the top. Mm -hmm. The journey out is very much the same as the journey in, though. You know what to expect. Really uneasy, though. <laughs> Pass by glass and concrete and wire. Can, can, as the elevator's going, can I turn to one of the wires and just rip it out? Absolutely. I want, to, not to affect the elevator, I want specifically to affect any of the power supply down below. It would be difficult. I want to uh, at least keep an eye out if I see something like that. I'm just going to time it or I can attempt it. <laughs> can you roll tech for me? <laughs> yeah. Please, you okay, cool. Basic tech or cyber tech? Basic tech. Okay. <laughs> 24? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, panel. <laughs> you definitely just affected the coolant down there. Okay, um, that's all. I, just enough to bother them. Like, they can fix it, but it's just enough. Okay. So you proceed upwards. And then you're in front of the stairs again. You proceed up the stairs. Did you share? We both saw the. The site with Suriyama? Yeah. Yeah. He was faking it. What? Yo, I had him dead to rights. No, he was like, as soon as. He was big. Looked guy. like he thought we were out of the way. Toss something from my pocket, or if I've got something nearby that I can use, and I just want to throw it up the stairs to see if there's anything suspicious. Nothing. You're the. Tunk, tunk, tunk. Then again, armed guards wouldn't just make sound, would they? Who proceeds out first? I will. Uh, I'll do it. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I was going to say that instead of uh, who proceeds out, it could be what proceeds out. Too late. Yeah. Somebody already yeah. volunteered. Somebody with a grenade. Oh, Baylor. Stop <laughs> 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 so, it. That's another. why that nerd is very valuable. <laughs> you guys are arguing the back picks. It's like, God damn it. That's why. You step outside. <laughs> And there's nobody there. Just the cool night air meets you. You can see the faint light from how from like Night City in the distance. Can I use my cyber eye to look around real quick? Yeah, even with magnification, okay, cool. no test. There's nobody here. Just uh, double check. I kind of call back over my shoulder a little bit. Like, guys, there's no one back. Like, no one out here. It starts to rain. Ah. Uh. Well, we still have our suits on, right? Yeah. So it's not getting in my hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah fuck Take off your suits, I'm assuming, because yeah. at this point. Uh, um, uh, the the no. fountain is- I rain off my hair, though, so. You can just you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait till you're in the truck? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay. The fountain is the, 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 the there, right? We're leaving uh, from the fountain, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I. Uh, I take a can of globe paint and I tag it mono and then a single line. Yeah. Okay. Shoot with it, post it on all their social media. It'll be great. Damn right they will. So you all proceed out, proceed to the truck. And I'm assuming you offload in Night City, right? You drop people off at different locations, stuff like that. Well, you take me back. We, I left my. Oh, your I vehicle, had right? The diner, right? Okay. So we got to go back to the diner, unless we just, unless I'd already planned that to be like a burner car, and I left it there. No, it would be a corpo okay. car, so you'd oh. have to get it. Yeah. Okay. When you go back, I'm assuming at that point you've taken the clean suit off, so you're yeah. not just oh, a yeah. weirdo in a clean suit. Toss it out the window. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> are there any like I'm assuming you say goodbye or something uh, before you part ways? What's going on with Baylor? Uh, Baylor has kind of come out of it. Um, after having a brief seizure, they s insist they're okay. Mm. You can just put him in the back seat. It's okay. It's kind of <laughs> what happens. He's young. He'll bounce back. I don't know. 
You notice that Baylor reaches into a pack and like hits himself up with something. You're not quite sure what it is. But they ins they they insisted like four times they'll be fine. Good luck, kid. Uh, extremely productive, everyone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you'll, we should you'll, debrief. You'll you'll donate to the rehab as my form of payment. Yes, that goes to be discussed. Charity, you know, and all that. <laughs> exactly what was contracted. Yes. Yes, contracted down the scent. Mm. I'm assuming payment will be done like through internet transfer or something. Cool. So you all part at this point. Go back to your lives in Night City. Cats. <laughs> you return to your cats. You return to your concerts. My house filled with schools. Yep. <laughs> you return to that. Casual. And for a time, things are normal. We're going to start with you. Uh -oh. You're in the office when it happens. Your ear started to itch. I don't know what it is. But then it starts to hurt. So you go into your little private bathroom. Things have gone real well for you once you started sending that stuff in. You go in, the place is pristine, chrome and glass, beautiful. You're on the up and up. You keep, and then one moment where you're going like this, something comes out. Oh. And you have the feeling of being emptied as your cyberware sluices out of your ear and into the sink. Just ding, ding, ding. Uh. <laughs> you find over the next couple days when you get, you can afford a replacement. You think it's a mistake of it. You get a new one, you lose it within a day. It's not expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nichols, uh. you have, which implants do you have? Uh, Biomonitor, mm -hmm. Neuralink, and uh, Sandivistan. So the Sandivistan <laughs> works. <laughs> Would you reject that? Oh, no. <laughs> you awake one morning to what feels like your cat's licking you. Wake. <laughs> You're lying on your stomach. And then that feeling returns. You can't feel your limbs. Uh. When the trauma team arrives, they'll find that it's like the metal pushed out of you. Uh. He can afford trauma team? Damn. <laughs> Work. I'd be really good. <laughs> Any replacements you get are rejected almost immediately. You find yourself, it's difficult to live around tech. It's, it starts to bother you because you just keep being reminded. Go to you. <laughs> Do you return to work? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she does. She goes to work the next day like nothing is happening. You return to work and one day you're using your tool hand and you're fixing something and then your hand moves, but the tool inside your hand doesn't and just <laughs> And you're just like most people in shock do, you're left there just holding your hand like, but it looks like a glove more than a hand now. Ooh. Your ear will start to itch within a day. Or sorry, your eye, isn't it? She's got her tool hand, her cyber eye, and a skin watch. Yeah. 
on a wire. So. Yours isn't so private. <laughs> You're on stage. Yeah. You've been pushing through the pain for days. Yeah. Patching up, doing what you can. You're on stage. Your audience thinks you're doing a stage dive. <laughs> They're not expecting to catch a corpse. Oh, my, all of my skin, uh, the, 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 the chem skin, the, the, the audio recorder, cyber audio suite, my, my tech hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. You leave four corpses behind. Some of you survive. Two of you survive, <laughs> but barely. If you meet up again, you've sworn at least three different times you've seen Suriyama, but he never says anything to you. Just has that knowing smile. I should have killed him. I was about to say we should have killed him. <laughs> and you're left like that, those of you that survive. In a world that's rapidly updating with technology, you see people on TV in better positions than you, getting implants, you never can. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Baylor lets you know what those files read. That viral RNA does exactly what it has done to you. Auto-reject, triggered. Someone was preparing for a fifth Corpo War. Whoa. And that's where we'll end today's session. Oh my god! No. <laughs> 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 so, thank you! Thank you! So, to, uh, let's go around the table. Uh, everybody, tell them what you're going to be in next, what you're doing. I'm so thankful I got to run for all of you. Thank so you, Petra. Thankful you invited me for this. So we're gonna do the opposite uh, this way. This time you can't deke out of it. You're starting us off. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for running a game for us again. Uh, raise money for charity here. Alan is about to go into his thing. I'm Roz, I'm also the DM here for Ready to Roll. You can check out all of those episodes on Questline on YouTube. Um, and also we play lots of games here on Tuesdays. And yep. you can catch me in a bunch of those ones. Uh, especially next week when we do the end of our fundraising drive, where we'll be... It'll end the day after. The Tuesday. day after, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. be playing a consumerist game, and so I'm going to be playing a uh, Paladin Mall Cop. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Paul Blart Paladin. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Trevor. Um, uh, yeah, you might, might recognize me if you're... Here on Questline D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, what am I playing in next? I think it'll be Dragonlance next year. Oh, and you're Grave Mortem. Oh, right. I'm, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm Grave Mortem on Twitch, uh, <laughs> so you can see me in my, my own streams. But yes, uh, that will be the next thing you can see me in, is uh, on Vampire by Night this Saturday, Vancouver episode Vancouver by Night, Vampire the Masquerade. Did I say Vampire by Night? Yes. Yeah. Vancouver by Night, Vampire <laughs> the Masquerade, sorry about that. Uh, uh, episode three of Last Light, where you can catch not only me, but Petra and uh, Rue, Roz, and Len, and Sam. Uh, yeah, you're, this is the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The arrival of the no fun police. <laughs> Ivy? Hi, I'm Ivy. I'm Game Reader Girl everywhere. You can find me online. Currently, I am running Alice in the Wonder Dark with the lovely Petra as one of my players, mm. so you can come watch that switch. Oh, um, no. <laughs> oh I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> September 15th is the next uh, session. We have two more after that. Is the mini campaign. You can find me over on Dice Cream Sandwich, where I also DM Pure Havoc, which is a Suicide Squad-style D&D game, um, which I'm about to turn their whole world upside down. I'm so excited. Um, that'll be switching over to Dice Cream in the new year. Um, additionally, you'll be able to find me running a level 20 mini campaign as well with Quincy's Tavern in the upcoming new year. Oh, yeah. um, and everything else I do, so follow my socials. Yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! Uh, uh, hi, my name is Alan. Um, I am about to go continue this stream yeah. uh, for the next 24 hours or for how, I don't know how like long it's 21. been. Uh, oh, for crazy. the next 21 hours uh, until 5 p.m. tomorrow. 
um, uh, you can find me uh, as well uh, 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 as well as this ch ch channel playing uh, loads of games and having fun uh, on the second besties ch 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 channel where me and uh, Cheyenne, uh, make jokes and make pe people laugh and stuff. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and uh, uh, and and other things at Alan Williams. Um, uh, come come st st stick around, hang out with with me here. I will be playing Cyberpunk uh, until my eyes uh, slosh Ash out of my head. Yeah, <laughs> straight on brand. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Petra Skelton. Uh, it's been a pleasure to DM for everybody at this table, or GM in this case. There's no dungeons here, though there kind of was. Kind of. Um, <laughs> you can find me in the campaigns mentioned before. Yeah. I'm in the Dice Cream campaign for Alice in the Wonder Dark, where I play a uh, basically if a goo is Korra. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. It's very, very fun. Um, and I'm also in Vancouver by Night Last Light where I play Dr. Luca Camellia, the trans right Zemisi. So we just had a bunch of violence and we're about to have yeah. a bunch of trauma. So that'll be great. Yeah. Oh, Shout out to DJ Mr. Murder! Yeah. 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 Absolutely Dylan, killed it. Tony in the booth. Yeah. Tony in the booth. Yeah. Tony, uh, Dylan, and uh, Kev, Kev, thank you for making all the overlays. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh my God, all of the art for this has been so good. Yeah. It's, it's been really good. Um, but yeah, that's us. Uh, thank you so much. You'll see Alain again soon. Yeah, stay tuned. This is not over. No, <laughs> it's only just begun. <laughs> <We're here. laughs>